We are here at the Grey Goose Blue Door Lounge, and I am talking to David Kaplan, who's the West Coast brand ambassador for Grey Goose. How are you, David? Good. How are you? Doing so well. We're having a great time here at Sundance. It's amazing. Beautiful out today. So I don't know too much about vodka. Can you tell me what differentiates Grey Goose from other brands of vodka? Of course. Uh, so Grey Goose is made from soft winter wheat uh, in the north of France. Uh, and Grey Goose, uh, one of the reasons I'm so passionate about Grey Goose is it's really looked after, cared for from field to bottle. Uh, so Francois Thibault, our maître de chez, or cellar master, uh, created it in 1996 and still oversees every step of the process. Uh, and Grey Goose is also uh, made and the whole process is sort of developed uh, by Francois to really bring out the nuances in the uh, in the flavor of that wheat. So we're gonna taste uh, Grey Goose and then we're gonna taste it next to uh, our newest sort of passion, Francois's newest sort of passion uh, project, uh, Grey Goose VX. Okay. Uh, so we'll start with Grey Goose. Okay. Here you are. So this is the original Grey Goose. So this is Grey Goose original. Uh, okay. And nosing through it, uh, you wanna start a little further away than you would with a wine. Okay. Uh, and keep your mouth a little open, which is a strange thing, but it will help sort of uh, bring about uh, all the sensory on your palate. Okay. So vodka, of course, is very nuanced. Grey Goose is, is uh, you know, exceptionally clean, uh, but you'll get a little bit of almond character in there, a little bit of white flour, but you really have to sort of like think about those flavors uh, and then kind of lock into them, and then you'll sort of uh, then you'll sort of taste through it. It's interesting when you're tasting uh, any spirit or any wine. As soon as someone says something, they're like pineapple, then you're like, oh, that's all I can <laughs> smell and taste now. Uh, so yeah, go ahead. Okay. And then when you're tasting it, you sort of let it rest on your palate for a moment. Mm -hmm. And then take, take a little sip. No, and resting on your palate really, really helps. It really helps, yep. And, and uh, if you take a little breath of air in afterwards, you feel how sort of uh, clean and cool it feels. No, I can see, I can see that. It's very, it's very fresh. Mm -hmm. Um, so now again, we're going to uh, to taste Grey Goose taste and smell Grey Goose VX. Okay. Um, and so Grey Goose VX is uh, is Grey Goose, same as we just tasted, mm -hmm. uh, with a little bit of young cognac. Okay. Um, and if you go ahead and grab the oh, I'm sorry, I grabbed that for you. Thank you very much. And so. If you nose through it, you'll, you'll notice right away, even though it's just a very small bit of young cognac, hugely different. So one of the reasons that um, that I love mixing with Grey Goose is it is an incredible platform for flavors. So even though there's just a little bit of the young cognac in here, it's really different, dramatically different. Mm -hmm. You can already smell it, like you said. You definitely get, smell the difference. You can get a little bit of white flour, lychee, peach. I love lychee. <laughs> then you'll love this. <laughs> well, cheers, now you can give it a little taste. Cheers. So you notice right away, much more round, a lot more going on to it. Oh, I really like that. Yeah, again, it's, be, it's because Grey Goose is such an incredible sort of platform for flavor. Uh -huh. uh, and this, uh, again, from Cognac and really sort of celebrates Grey Goose's history uh, in a way that, you know, I don't think any other spirit has today. Oh, that's wonderful. And we have a cocktail we can make with this, right? We do, we do. So let's set all of this aside. Okay. So if you don't want to take shots, we have some fun cocktails to make with this amazing Grey Goose XV, or VX. Grey Goose VX. VX, okay. Uh, so we're going to make the Grey Goose VX Martini Exceptional. Okay. Really short, succinct name. <laughs> uh, so we are debuting this cocktail here at Sundance. We're incredibly excited about Fantastic. it. Fantastic, I'm excited to see this. So it is, uh, it is a martini, or a martini variation. Okay. So with a martini, uh, you're going to you're going to stir it in your mixing glass, and you're going to start with ice. Um, and for this, you're going to do uh, two and a half ounces of Grey Goose VX. And then, while we're sort of, we call this letting it cook. While we're, while we're letting this cook, we give it, a, give it a couple stirs, Okay. let it cook, and then we're going to prep our glassware. We have a pretty glass. It, that's what it's called, actually. We call these <laughs> the Grey Goose Pretty Glasses. Really? No. <laughs> Just for us. Just for you. Just for us. So we're going to rinse it with a little bit of absinthe. Okay. Um, so absinthe is uh, heavily anise uh -huh. in, uh, in sort of nose. So it sort of smells like black licorice oh, there. I love that. And uh, you just pour a little bit in, 
spin the glass just like I did, and then rinse it out. You just want a light coating on there. Okay. So now we're going to finish uh, stirring our cocktail. And what we're doing here is we're diluting it um, and bringing it down to temperature. So you want your martini very, very cold um, and just with a little bit of the water that you're getting from the dilution there. Okay, so not too much water. And the fun thing about stirring a cocktail is you get to look around the room, make sure everyone's having a good time. <laughs> How's everyone doing? I think everyone's having a great time. They are, because they're here with us. Exactly. The Grey Goose Blue Door Lounge at Sundance. Uh, so, and then we strain this off. Look how pretty that is already. I say it's beautiful. It's so classy. And uh, we need just a spritz of our local honey water. And then... And what does the honey water do? Again, it's just sort of a complimentary aromatic. Okay. So it brings a little bit of sweetness. Um, brings a little bit of sweetness to the drink uh, without actually providing too much sugar. Okay. And then garnish it with a frozen grape. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Here you are. So pretty, I don't want to drink it. <laughs> That's wonderful. You can already you can taste the VX and the the flavors from the VX as well as the I like the honey in it too and the absinthe. Everything is wonderful about it. Thank you so much. Of course, thank you. Thank you. And make sure and check out Grey Goose VX in the liquor stores. It's fantastic. Thank you again. Cheers. Cheers.